Welcome to Webit Tutorials. In this video, we will show you how you can extend your Wi-Fi range with your old router by wireless method. Basically, what we will be doing is receiving signal from our main router, then broadcasting the same signal through our old spare router. We are using a TP-Link router. Basically, the process will be similar for other routers as well. First of all, we will have to log in to the router settings. If you know the current login details, you can directly do so. If you don't know the details, you will have to physically reset the router and use the default login details of your router. To do so, find the reset button of your router. Then press it for a few seconds until it indicates that the router has been reset. You will know the router has been reset when all the LEDs blink at once. Now, using your PC or cell phone, connect to the router. We are connecting through the Wi-Fi. You may connect through wire using LAN port 2. When you are connected to the router, open your browser. Then go to the router login page and enter your username and password. For us, the router IP is 192.168.0.1 and username and password is admin. You may find these details at the bottom sticker of your router or you may search for your router model in the internet. Now, after you log in, go to your network's LAN settings. Keep in mind that you cannot have the same IP address in your main router which has the internet connection and the old router which you will be using as Wi-Fi repeater. If it is same in both routers, change it in your old router. For us, it is different, so we will not change the IP addresses. Then, now, go to the wireless settings and set your Wi-Fi name. By default, the channel will be in auto, but for repeating Wi-Fi, we need our both router to be in same channel. So, before proceeding, fix your main router channel at 1 to 11, whichever you would like to. If you don't have access to your router or this feature, Simply call your internet service provider and ask them to fix the channel for you. Our ISP does not allow us to log in to our router, so we had to call our ISP and make them do it for us. Now, enable WDS Breezing, then click on Survey. It will scan all the available Wi-Fi networks. Ours is the first one. Also, notice that our router is on channel 1. Then click on connect. Now choose key type. Then enter the password of the main router we just connected to. And click on save. Now go to wireless security and set up password for the Wi-Fi. Then click on save. Now the final thing we need to do is disable our DHCP server and click on save. Then reboot the device. When the router reboots, wait till the Wi-Fi is on. Now let's test our newly set up Wi-Fi repeater. Let's connect to Wavit Tutorials. Now let's test the internet. We can see it is working. That's it for this video. If you have any comments or queries, let us know in the description below. Have a nice time.